How you doing? I'm out with Pole Fishing Magazine today at Docklow Pools. Now this place has got fond memories of this lake. It's Mickey Mouse Lake and I'm, I'm actually sitting on peg six. The peg next to me, peg eight, is where I won the 2012 Drenner Knockout Cup. Fantastic day, I had loads of silvers, also loads of carp. But in all the time I kept practicing on the lake, I never sat on this peg. So I thought today it would just be nice to come for a pleasure session on this lake, hopefully catch a few fish. Now today I've had a real mixed bag of caught roach, hybrid, skimmers, tench, F1s, carp, you name it, I've caught it because it's such a nice lake. The important thing though has been feeding. All I've been doing for my carp is just feeding quite sparingly really with lunch and meat. And all I've been doing is feeding sort of eight to ten cubes after every fish just with a big pot. The reason I'm feeding with a big pot is because I'm expecting bites. I'm not expecting really quick bites on that one so I'm potting in coming back, baiting up, shipping out. By the time I'm going out and, and presenting my rig, hopefully that bait's settled on the bottom. I won't get any liners by excited fish intercepting bait up in the water and I can sit there and wait and, and wait for a bite. But for silverfish though, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm feeding maggots. I'm doing the same thing, almost exactly the same thing as I'm doing with the meat, but I'm feeding with a pole mounted pot just because I'm expecting more fish really, I'm expecting to catch numbers really rather than rather than quant, quant, quality. Again, sort of like 10 or 12 maggots in a pot and then all I'm doing is I'm just dipping that pot underneath the water so none of the maggots, the maggots will stick in the pot and none of them will bounce out, shaking that pot in, laying in single or double maggot over the top and I'm catching loads of fish doing that. Today because the water's clear I've had to swap between the two lines, nick a few roach then I go and catch either a carp or an F1 on the meat but it's worked out really well. Try it on your local local fish ref, but remember, springtime, just because the, the air temperature is warm, doesn't mean the water's warm, so just take your time with your feed.